Hey, good morning, it's Dr. James. I hope you're off to an awesome start today. It's wonderful to see you. Thank you for your time and thank you for your energy. And I really hope and I pray this morning that you lean all the way into this message. You lean so deeply into this message that you fall in love with its possibility. Because the possibility of this message and its relationship to science, its relationship to the kind of life that I know that we're all absolutely committed and desiring to lead, and so many of us feel desperate and are... And our desire to get there and wonder if we're actually going to make it there, you are going to love what this study is all about. It's all about positive relationships. Now, we can define that in so many ways, right? A positive interaction with a stranger can be a positive relationship. The ones we have with our spouse, the kids, strangers, lovers, you name it. All of these are relating opportunities. And whether or not they're positive has a tremendous impact on every area of our life. And this is according to Harvard. So if you woke up this morning and said, you know what? I would love to increase my life satisfaction because now I know that my life satisfaction is absolutely correlated and connected to the amount of money I'm going to make, the, the length of my life, um, whether or not I'm going to have an amazing career, whether or not I'm going to make a positive impact in the world. And here's a little sidebar for you. You know, I have had the blessing and the honor and the humble amazing opportunity to work along some of the most creative minds in the world, the most impactful people in the world. People like Richard Branson and Deepak Chopra and Steve Wozniak, the founder, co-founder of Apple. And you know what? All of these people who have made tremendous impact in the world, they had a positive relationship with their creative heart. And they never ever asked permission to go out in the world and do what they had in their heart to do. They say, you know, hey, hey, group, think. Hey, conformists, is it okay if I be awesome? Is, 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 is it okay if I upset some people because I'm not going to be a conformist? I'm not going to play down and be a part of group think? No way. And according to Harvard, they found that people who have life satisfaction are the ones who took action on their purpose. Satis action. The Latin for satisfaction is taking enough action. And those people, according to Harvard, they make more money, they live longer, they have incredibly deep, awesome <laughs> careers, and they make impact in the world. They don't ask for permission because they're associating with people who, in who intentionally and courageously encourage them to go out and do their work. And they relate with their heart's knowing by continually listening to what's in their heart. They get out of their mind and say, you know what, I wonder if it's going to be okay. I wonder if I'm going to piss some people off. I wonder if people are going to ridicule me. People are going to doubt me. People are going to make fun of me. Who cares? Because you look around the conformity thinking. You look at them, the consensus uh, group think, and you're going, I don't want to be a part of that. I, I don't want to be a part of that. So here's what's interesting. They found those people who do these kinds of opportunities with the relationship the relationship to taking action, relating with what they know might makes them come alive. Ask yourself similarly now, do I have a relationship with my dreams? Do I have a relationship with my courageous vision for my life? Am I relating with what I know my spiritual truth to be? I'm no longer going to be good. I'm going to live up to my truth. I'm going to express it to the world. Because those are the people who make the kind of lives happen that when all is said and done, they don't, they don't leave this planet going, oh my gosh, there's still so much inside of me that I wish I could have brought forward. And they, they, they exhale and say, well done. I did it. I did what I came here to do. And that's why they live so long and strong because they get a chance to do their life's work here. And I believe the universe, God, wants us here that long to continually make that kind of impact that we never ever ask permission from others we associate with the people who encourage us to bring our hearts knowing into action our sermon becomes visible our courageous act of love becomes tangible and it becomes a catalyst for everyone around us i love that harvard related it to money and health and career and impact but I love more that we connected this morning. We thought about what it is that we are committed to doing. Living so well that when all is said and done, we surrender peacefully with purpose, knowing that we lived up to what was in our hearts. And we lived it and we loved it. We became it. We circulated it. And as Maslow said, we came and did what we had to do to become all that we had to be. So with that, much love, every blessing, and deep appreciation of you. Have a beautiful day. Bye for now.